everybody. Welcome back. We did a uh, very basic budget in for January, and so now we're going to do a very uh, basic budget versus what we actually spent. So you guys can see uh, how it went for us in January. First, I do want to say thank you very much for you guys watching and your comments and your subscribing. It's been wonderful. We appreciate all of that. And we love to hear your comments. And we love to answer it the best that we can. Yeah. So if you keep them coming, we'll be happy to continue doing what we do. So in the last video, we talked about the basic budget. And so let's look at those categories again. Because we, didn't we did add one category. We'll explain why later. But uh, the very first category was housing. Um, I think we mentioned last time that we don't pay rent for our house. Yes, we don't because we have a paid house, so no rent. When Jess was in Baltimore City teaching hey. school, hey. She, she built a house here in the Philippines. And uh, so that's a wonderful thing. I got a wife and a house. She's smarter than me. <laughs> but I never have a master's degree like she does. But, but you, we talked about what you can get here. You can get a two bedroom very easily with a one bathroom, very nice place for 10,000 a month. So that's 10,000 pesos a month. So that's the number we put in our budget, very basic budget. We do know of a house around the corner here that's three bedroom, two story, mm -hmm. very nice place with uh, access right to the street, nice street, and that's 15. We're trying to get the folks to let us take a look at it. If they do, we'll, we'll post a video on it. That'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We haven't got there yet. So, but on our very basic budget, we use the number 10,000 for rental or whatever you're doing with your house here in the Philippines, all right? And I don't think the 10,000 will be very nice. You don't think it'll be very nice? I don't know. I that. think the 15 is a good one. Oh. Yeah. But well, anyway, you may, you, I think you can get a nice place for 10,000. Mm -hmm. Jess and I don't think the same about nice. Right. <laughs> My nice is high standard. <laughs> we are living about 20 minutes north of Naga, proper city down there and about an hour south of Cebu. So we're between Naga and Cebu, and we are rather provincial here. There's a lot of farmland, there's a lot of dirt roads, mm -hmm. so it's not an expensive area to live in. Uh, we, and we are near the beach. Yeah, we five minutes, a five minutes walk, mm -hmm. we'll be in the beach. Yeah, if you watch our walking videos, you can see the beach we walk on. Yes. Um, so the next category we talked about was electrical. Uh, electrical budget and very basic budget was 4,600. Uh, we did not spend 4600 last month, and that was a wonderful thing. We spent uh, 3895 pesos. <laughs> so we saved 100, 105 pesos on our very basic budget. We still have the same appliances. We have two fans, mm -hmm. the refrigerator, the microwave. We have two air conditioning because my mom, 85-year-old, is living with us. And, and she, she too, also uses the air conditioning. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> We have uh, we have a water heater in the bathroom, mm -hmm. and we have a, a water pump outside, and all that cost us thirty eight ninety five last month. Uh, we're going to be flashing up on the screen. You'll see it as we go. The U S dollar. Okay, guys, it's hard to do both at the same time. Actually, it's hard to do one at a time sometimes. <laughs> and then our water for cleaning. Our budget is three hundred and twenty. Uh, what we actually spent was two hundred fifty pesos. So we came out ahead with that. Uh, we still have the same taxes every month, six five hundred a month, and it costs six thousand a year in taxes, which is not really that bad. Mm -hmm. About a hundred and some dollars. Well, mm -hmm. again, they'll be on the on the corner. Uh, our food and groceries. Uh, our budget for food and groceries is fifteen thousand. Groceries are those things you use other than food mm -hmm. that you buy at the grocery store. Yeah. Uh, last month, uh, we spent how much? We spent seventeen thousand and sixteen pesos. So we blew our grocery budget. Yeah, but that includes everything, paper products, cleaning products, yeah. some of my beauty products. <laughs> and, and part of that is, too, the month was a little longer than yeah. the other months. In other words, 31 days. Uh, but in any case, we blew that a little bit. Uh, our transportation is a large chunk of our budget because we don't have a car. Uh, we take the public transport, yeah. jeepneys, buses, taxis, even hobble hobbles. Yeah, hobble hobbles are motorbikes. <laughs> they can hop on the back with somebody. Yeah. Uh, we were sitting up on the porch yesterday, and there was a guy going by on a bike, and there was five people five on his people bike. Five people in the bike. <laughs> Even small children. Yeah, there's two they small children. It, they put it in between two adults, <laughs> those little children. I can't believe they had five people on yes. a little bike. And then the driver don't wear shoes. <laughs> he wears flip-flops. magic flip-flops. <laughs> <laughs> so our transportation budget is 4000 
And last month we saved a little bit. We spent 3,810 pesos. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. We're coming out a little bit ahead on those two. Uh, entertainment for us is not a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, this month in February it will be a big, big deal because we just blew it yesterday, I think. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we budgeted 2,000 a month for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and last month we spent 1,989 pesos. So we made it by 11 pesos last month. Uh, laundry is 1,600 a month. Uh, that's we take our laundry to the laundromat, mm -hmm. and uh, they do it really good for us. Fold it up, we bring it home. It's very easy. In fact, Jess has a guy stop by and pick it up for us. Yeah. <laughs> so we we drop it off and it gets delivered to our house. Mm -hmm. How do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, but we we thank you. Man. Oh sure we do. That's we part of the help budget. That's part of the help oh, budget. Yeah. We say thank you and we pay. Yeah. So laundry last month was only a thousand pesos. We did pretty good. We didn't, what, we didn't change our clothes much last month? <laughs> <laughs> One thing we here is... We walked around in dirty clothes? <laughs> yeah, don't be stingy here because people will get to know you like, oh, if you're stingy, they will say, oh, this is stingy American. <laughs> no, we are not stingy. Yeah, they won't help you they very much. Yeah, they'll... And they will be happy to see you like, okay. If you're, if you're more generous, mm -hmm. yeah. So we have no problem getting people to help us. Yeah. That's, that's kind of nice, okay? The next budget we've added, this was not a category last time, and we added it because things happen that you need to have money for. Mm -hmm. uh, we had an issue with a coconut tree up front, it kept dro dropping coconuts on, on the roof of where mom sits during the day, mm -hmm. and the roof is getting pretty beat up, yes. so we hired a guy to chop down all the coconuts and to trim the leaves, mm -hmm. and that cost us a little bit of money. Yeah, 500 pesos, that's 10 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had... Um, then we had a plumbing issue. We had a water leak. Mm -hmm. uh, I was trying to, I was trying to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> but you failed. I fixed it good. When I fixed it, I, I pulled the, the handle to see how the water, and the whole handle came off my hand. Yeah. And so then I tried two more times to fix it. So I spent money for that too, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we finally gave up and ca uh, called the guy who knows what he's doing. Yeah. And yeah. about ten minutes, he had it fixed. But yeah. it cost us a little bit. Yeah. Five hundred pesos. Another five hundred. Yeah. yeah. So that category actually is five thousand. Mm -hmm. We put 5,000 in there because it's good to have extra money mm -hmm. handy and available. Mm -hmm. So we didn't spend that much, but uh, we counted it as if we did. We just, we, since we added the category, we acted like we spent. That way the numbers stay the same ratio, mm -hmm. all right? So as a summary, overall, after housing, electrical, water, food, transportation, entertainment, health, laundry, and miscellaneous, our very basic budget was 44,860 pesos. That's only $800 a month. Now you do have to have other money because mm -hmm. you have other things that happen. Mm -hmm. Medical expenses, you have nephews going to no, school. The me me uh, well, we have to pay mom's medicines. That's a medical expense. Mom's maintenance medicine. <laughs> mom's maintenance, medicine. maintenance medicine, yeah. And uh, so there's other things in there that will be different for each individual. So we didn't see any sense in itemizing all those. Yeah. So 44860 was the pesos in our very, very basic, but what we spent Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> was 46,640. Oh no, we overspent. We overspent by 2,000. No, 1,000 and change. 800 US dollars for the basic, 832 for what we really spent. Yeah, I remember there's one guy said, Oh, you're a low budget thing. <laughs> 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 but you know what? Yeah, the budget is basic, you know? Yeah. And it's all, what makes it really expensive? are these things that are not really the, the basic ones. Right. Yeah. Such yeah. as? Such as? Such as what? Such yeah. as. <laughs> we go to the mall. Oh, yeah. We go on vacation to hotels. Yeah. What did we, we do yesterday? We go on vacation to resorts. Oh, we went to that very nice, cozy restaurant yeah. by the beach. Parola? The Parola. Yeah. And you're going to drop a lot of money there. So we're just sharing you our basic, yeah. low budget. So thing. that's why we blew February's entertainment already. Well, actually, it really wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. I went to dinner in America with my my son-in-law and my daughter, and oh, yeah. we spent we mm -hmm. spent a lot of money just for mm -hmm. for six of us. Yeah. But at the parole, it was only twelve hundred and something. Yeah, and the place is nice. And it's very nice. You guys we will have, enjoy we that. We have it in one of our videos. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, guys, I hope this helps you as you're thinking about coming to the Philippines. You have any questions? Uh, please feel free to comment. We do appreciate it. We read everyone yeah. and we try to respond. Mm -hmm. uh, so we appreciate that. 
And we are here living. We've been living here since uh, 2020. 2020. And I think it's we're doing the height okay. of the pandemic. Yeah, you know, yeah. We had to, yeah, that was an adventure just trying to get in the country. They had to yes. test us and yeah. put us in, in quarantine where yeah. disease or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks, guys. We appreciate it very much. Uh, 800 is the actual, uh, I mean, a very low budget, and 832 was the in dollars is what we actually spent. So. So how much is the dollar? Well, the, that was the dollars, eight hundred and dollars, and eight thirty-two and dollars. No, the, the exchange rate. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a question. Yeah, yeah. fifty. Did we mention that? No, no, we oh, did not. Yeah. Oh, when we got here, it was like fifty pesos to a dollar, forty-eight no, pesos. No, forty-eight. Forty-eight, and now it's fifty-six. So we have a raise. So at fifty-six pesos a dollar, that's where we get our pesos to dollar rate, which I will try to remember to flash up in a corner. Yeah. All right. One of the comments was that, and I thought it was a good idea. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Again. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.